Um, so thanks everybody for tuning in. We're doing a new, um, like I said, Instagram live weekly, weekly video here called Ask the Mortgage Guys. Uh, any pertinent questions that you guys have, go ahead and ask away here. But um, we wanted to, uh, you know, we want to do this series because there's, there's a lot of misconceptions in the mortgage industry right now. A lot of questions that, you know, you're going to get online that really aren't correct. So if there's anything pertinent that you have questions about, uh, please drop a line here, drop a comment in here, and uh, we'll answer them. And also, you're free, free to, uh, to, uh, to DM us. So what's up, Brian? How you doing, buddy? What's up, baby? What's up, baby? How are you? I love it. Excited to get this Ask the Mortgage guy. I know, right? Today, I love it. There's, there's, a lot, there's a lot of info to cover. And what I, I recognize is that the, the general public, they, they want this information, but it's 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 difficult, you know. If you go on to Google, I mean, you're gonna get uh, you know 100,000 different answers for something. Whereas this is this is created to streamline those answers, uh, you know, kind of for the public and and just general knowledge for everyone wanting to purchase a home. I mean, it's it could be a, a daunting task, but I feel like you know we're we're gonna be giving some really really good info to you guys to really set you guys up for success. So let's hit yeah. it. Perfect. So real quick, does anybody have any questions before we have some things we're going to talk about? Um, yes, Brian is the GOAT, Solomon 30. Um, but does anybody have any questions before we kind of go into some of the topics that we, you know, we have some uh, stuff that we can talk about. But does anybody have any questions? Uh, put them in the, the comments here below. We'll answer them. But I guess not. We'll just go ahead and get going. So uh, Brian, I had you pull up some stats or have one of your referral partners uh, send you some information, Milena. Uh, thank you if you're on the call here. I'm on the, on the live, so appreciate that. So let's talk about some of those stats, kind of where we're at currently when it comes to like sales price now versus like a year ago today. So yeah, so we're 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 gonna touch on kind of the Charlotte region, okay? And that's including you know Cabarrus, that's uh, uh, Mecklenburg, that's you know that that Charlotte, that's kind of the the Charlotte region is obviously kind of a big realm. Um, but this, it's actually, it's actually kind of crazy to me, you know, in, in 2021, and you know what, this is what I'm gonna do. Let me turn my screen around so everybody can kind of follow along with me. That's a little bit easier for everybody. There we go. I think that's a, I think that's a, as good as we're going to probably get it. Okay. So I want everyone to look right over here, right? Month supply of inventory, right? So obviously back in 2021, we were looking at a, a decrease in inventory, right? So that's what's, you know, what's driving essentially home prices, the supply and demand. So everyone's saying, oh, all these prices, it's a fluke, it's a fluke, it's a fluke. Well, come over here to 1.8. So we're, this, is, this, is, this is a huge, huge increase in, in inventory, up 63% essentially in inventory. And I want you guys to look right here, median sales price. Zoe, be quiet. <laughs> um, so I want you to look at this medium sales price. It's jumped up from 335 and 21 over to 379, 450 for 2022. Now, to anybody that's thinking, anybody that's thinking that equity or or home values are are going to be kind of dr you know dropping drastically is is sorely mistaken because you know. This this is through Canopy. This is through the MLS. I mean, we're seeing raw numbers here that there is still an appetite to purchase a home. Home values are still on the rise, and we are not going to be. We're not seeing a depreciation. We're just seeing a slower up. We're going to see a slower appreciation for the future. Um, but I thought this this months of supply inventory this increase was pretty staggering, and to see where we're at for an increase in home value. So that was that was that was pretty awesome. Um, and then one last thing to touch on is kind of, you know, your days on market. So yes, homes are staying on the market a little bit longer. You know, I, when, when I was a real estate agent, you know, back in, in, in 2015, and our concessions were a, a, a normal thing. So, you know, this is, a, in my opinion, a, a, a normalizing of a real real estate market. So don't freak out if your home stays on the market for 30 days. I mean, it's, it, you know, it, it's, it's okay. <laughs> you know, the, the, this is the normal, this is a normal process for, you know, for home buying. Um, yeah. So I, th I think that's going to wrap it up for, you know, home values. And um, I know Angela is going to touch on 
uh, doing a pricing simulation live for everybody um, to kind of see where we're at with cl what closing costs are, what um, what interest rates are, and what we can get kind of in our, our current market right to this moment and right this second. So take it over, Ange. Yeah, thanks, Brian. That's uh, some, it's some good info. You know, it's a lot of people think it's uh, still not uh, a great, they're going to wait for the market to cool or whatever. It's, it ain't cooling, peeps. I mean, it's it's more of a leveling off, as you say, Brian. So great, good, uh, good touch points there. So um, I'll try to make this brief, right? You know, we have a lot of times when we get calls in the office here, it's a lot of like, hey, what's your rate? Or hey, you know, what's my payment on uh, on this particular scenario? So if you have any scenarios that you'd like us to price for you, you can go ahead and put them in the chat here. But I go up, went ahead and I just I just uh, chose a, a pricing scenario. And also what a 2-1 buy down will get you. Now, if you don't know what a 2-1 buy down is, that's kind of the hot thing right now when it comes to uh, negotiations because Usually the seller wants to do it like a price reduction uh, because if the home is not selling in, you know, a day or two, you know, on the market a week or 10 days or, you know, two weeks, whatever, um, you know, they're wanting to do a price reduction, but we don't really recommend doing a price reduction because w home affordability is a little bit harder right now because rates are higher. So if we're doing a, a temporary two one buy down, we can ask the seller to pay for seller concessions to pay for that two one buy down. Um, thank you, um, so, uh, Solomon uh, 30. We'll answer that in just a second. Um, so we'll uh, Brian, write that down. Over the last four months, pricing has been dropping rapidly, though, right? Um, we'll answer that in just a second. So we just took a quick pricing um, uh, simulation here. It's a $325,000 sales price. It, um, with a 5% down payment, and so that's a $308,750 uh, loan amount. Okay, so a two one buy down will cost will cost the seller uh, and so a two one buy down will cost the seller let's see here seven thousand three hundred and thirty two dollars so in, instead of asking for a ten thousand dollar price reduction, if you ask for the seller for let's say ten thousand in closing costs, you're saving in you're saving basically. 7,000, because what a buy down is, is you're, the, the, you're having the seller prepay the interest for those two years. So let's say six and a half is the interest rate, right? Uh, I'm not talking about APR, I'm just talking about straight interest rate. Six and a half of the two one buy down, that means year one is four and a half, year two is five and a half, and then year three and on is six and a half. So what that is, the seller is prepaying the, interest for you for the first two years in the tune of $7,332. So that is what a buy down is. Now, if any loan officer or any mortgage company is asking you, the borrower, to pay for a buy down, don't do it because that is, why would you prepay to buy, it's, why would you do that? Uh, so we've seen a few quotes that they've been quoted a buy down that they've had the buyer pay for. Why would you want to, why would you have the buyer prepay their interest? It doesn't make any sense because rates are going that's to in the fall form. in the next year or two. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, and that's in the form of discount points. So if anybody ever hears, uh, you know, um, my, my, the, the, the lender is charging me, you know, $4,000 for this interest rate of, you know, 5.999, right? The, 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 it's kind of tricky. The word discount is not, it's not a discount to you. It's actually costing you money. So, you know, that, that's why, you know, Angela and I, we're also doing that, the LE, you know, uh, loan asset LE reviews, you know, LE review, because it's so crucial. I mean, it's, it, you know, uh, right now, a lot of people are hurting. A lot of big box lenders are hurting right now, you know, because they've been in the refi boom for the last 10 years and they haven't done any purchase. So now they're trying to get onto the purchase on, you know, we've been doing purchase for God knows how long. So it's, you know, they're trying to recoup those costs and those discount points. So always, always be wary of, of, of those, uh, of those discount points, obviously, you know, being charged. So, sorry, I'm just, I, I heard yeah, you no, I no, that, that's a good point. Points, so. It's a good point because you're going to see discount points and you're going to see buy down. So you're going to most likely see those intertwined and you want to make sure you want to make sure that it's just a legit quote and that you're not paying for anything that you really don't need, need to be paying for. Um, and also, too, which kind of you you talking about that, 
it makes it made me think of I've seen all these advertisements from a lot of these online companies like oh we'll refinance you for free in you know three years if rates drop well honestly that's bullshit <laughs> they're not refinancing you for free in two or three yeah. or four years they're just gonna build it into the interest rate because that's how yeah. that's how you do you can either nobody works for free let's be honest okay so nope. um, don't believe any of those gimmicks if you want an honest opinion um, the loan estimates, um, or just a second opinion on the loan program or product or whatever it may be for your particular situation, just use this as a resource. Even if you don't use us as you know, the, the mortgage company that you go with, we are more than happy to review anything, be a consultant for you, just, just to make sure you're getting the good deal, right? So, um, so yes, anyways, the 2-1 buy down basically saves you about $7,332 if you have um, a 3 Five thousand dollars sales price with five percent down payment. So, um, so that kind of gives you an idea of what the buy down in. Instead of asking for the seller to reduce the price, get that buy down and save. Have them have you save the money. So you're you know because even if you paid the six and a half percent on the full sales price, you know you're still you know you're not saving that ten. You may be saving up front ten thousand dollars. But that, when you think about that in, in the down payment with the 95% of the sales price, it doesn't really affect the payment much. But you do that interest rate buy down, that is a huge effect on, uh, on the payment. So uh, thanks to everybody for, hey, and for kind of tuning in here. What's up? Can we do a, uh, can we do a pricing scenario just based off of uh, a 740 credit score with 5% down, what that is? On yeah, the, that's uh, what I was talking about, 325. Cool. 325, that was 5% down, 325. So that was, uh, so the interest rate on that, <coughs> excuse me, a 30 year fixed um, interest rate on that. Now too, see there's a lot of things that we can talk about too because there's a bar, there's so many different programs too. A lot depends on income and things like that. But we're just gonna talk about straight 30 year fixed, <coughs> excuse me, a 30 year fixed mortgage, 5% down with a 740 credit score. Um, and that interest rate, that interest rate, um, I'm just kind of doing the live pricing here. So while well, it's thinking, <clears throat> let's do it's work here. You all right there? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm getting all choked up here. Uh, <laughs> I love mortgages. <laughs> um, all right, it's thinking. It's thinking. And we can do a live pricing for anybody here that, uh, that has a, a particular scenario. Um, so 5% down, 740 credit score um, is a 6.488 um, interest rate. Of course, the APR is going to be around 6.66. That particular. Um, so let's go back to. You cut out, Ann. Live, I'm gonna add you. You see it? Ah, I got people back on. Really? So it just says joined. Okay. All right. So sorry about that, guys. We're having some technical difficulties over here. Um, so we have a Brian. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> so um, so sorry about the technical difficulty. We'll, we'll get it figured out. But thanks so, thanks so much for joining. I know we were talking about that live scenario. It was 5% uh, down, $325,000 uh, $325, sales price. Um, and then we were actually going to talk about um, your friend's question that he had about the uh, the pricing, uh, he thinks the pricing was dropping in the last four months. That was not the case, correct? Because you said that with the data that you uh, that you pulled in from from uh, Milena. Yeah, no, it it, it 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 is not showing like price drops over uh, for 2022. It's actually showing since 2021. Um, uh, in in uh, in the Charlotte region, three hundred and thirty-five thousand was the the median sales price, 
And in 2022, the median sales price actually went up to 379, 450. So, you know, we're seeing long, we're, we're seeing a little bit longer time on market for the homes. Um, and obviously, you know, if you have a home that's on the market for 30 days, it's not selling. Yes, we're seeing a price. We're, yes, we're seeing price reductions. But I think that the real the real kind of deal behind that is there are a little bit less buyers, but they're more serious buyers. You know, back when rates were, you know, in the twos and threes, you know, you had everybody and their mom can, you know, afford to, you know, purchase a home. Now, obviously, we have a little bit less amount of people that can purchase a home, but we're seeing a lot more serious buyers that are in here that are still wanting to purchase a home. That need to purchase. I need yeah. to purchase that are even in the six and, you know, six, 7% range. So, um, you know, the, 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 the good news about, you know, about that is, you know, we will all have an opportunity to perform a refinance, you know, uh, uh, ho hopefully over the next 12 to 18 months. Um, and I think that's really going to present a, uh, you know, a lot better of a market for, uh, for our clients and also saving them a bunch of money, you know, per month, you know, it, in my opinion, I'd rather put money into a real estate transaction than I would into, you know, in, into a stock market, you know, cause I mean, I'm, I'm controlling that now that's an asset. That's an investment that I have that I know I can collect money on every single month for my future. So um yeah got it so that hopefully that answered uh, your question there i know we had some technical difficulties and we're about at the 20 minute mark we're trying to keep these around the 15 20 25 minute mark we don't want them to go too long but look we want your questions uh, there's a lot of questions that we get calls on that we get asked about so we just want to be a resource for you please follow like and share our um our social media um what do you call it? Uh, the our social media, their um, our handles. That's right, our handles. <laughs> so, uh, Brian's at Carolinas dot Mortgage Guy. I'm CLT Mortgage Guy. Um, so next week, tune in. We're gonna do this every week, regardless if there's one person or fifty people. So we want to be a resource for you. Like I said, DM us if you have any questions. Hope some of this information helped about the two one buy down uh, and what the current markets are doing. So. We'll see you next week and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.